by 200 scale trumpeter titanic model now um, I am waiting on some more detail kits to arrive from Woody and Mini Model. They are out of the country, so they're taking their sweet time to get here. Plus, you know we're having a lot of transportation issues coming from out of the country, so we just have to be patient until we get all those detail kits in so we can actually get this um, show on the road. Now, I did start something. And that is the stand. So this video one is going to focus on the stand itself. The stock stand that came with the boat, I, I just didn't like it at all. In fact, this is what it looks like. It's a plastic stand. It does have, I, I do like the, the way they put the name on there. Uh, they have their scale of the model right there, 1 by 200. And of course the trumpeter logo itself. And uh, um, I definitely will not be using this as my final stand, but I will be using it to put the boat together because it is a good stand that holds the boat sturdy. Uh, I will be putting some felt in these little areas here uh, so it won't scratch the hull of paint because you'll be moving it and stuff like that. It won't be glued to this. But once the boat is done, this will be trash. What I was looking for was something more like a trophy looking stand. A stand that, that, that resembles some type of uh, trophy. And what I came up with was a stand that looks something like this. This is the stand that I will be using. It is complete. I should have taken some videos when I made it, but um, I didn't even think about making the channel when I completed this. But that came along the line and this is where we're at today. But I'll explain how I did this, no problem at all. So, um, the first thing is these candle holders. Now, these candle holders, it's very important that when you purchase a candle holder, that you make sure that you can get a quarter inch bolt through it. Uh, if you can't get a quarter inch bolt because it's solid down the bottom, you're going to have hell trying to drill through this uh, uh, solid brass candle holder. Especially when you get through this little skinny area right here. When you get through this little skinny area, what's going to happen as you're drilling in there, it's going to discolor. It's going to, it's just going to look ugly. It's going to actually undermine the area, which will be weak. And, and it's, just, it's just not a good idea. Just make sure when you purchase your candle holder that you can get a quarter inch bolt through it. Now, um, the next thing that happened with this stand is I, I picked this up at Marshall's. But uh, when you pick it up at Marshall's, it's pretty raw, so you're going to have to sand this sucker down really good. Because, I mean, even when I sand it, there's still some burrs on there that I didn't get. But, uh, you know, for the sake, for the sake of perfection, uh, I think it came out pretty good. But at any rate, you sand it down really good, you clean it off, you wipe it with some water, and then I put one coat of dark cherry red varnish. I picked up the varnish from Home Depot. I guess you could pick that up at any local hardware store, but it is a one coat varnish, and that's all you need. And you can see, look at the color on that. Okay. Uh, once that dried up, I moved on and uh, went on ahead and uh, went to YouTube University and figured out how to do epoxy. And from the whole entire epoxy situation, what I found out the most important thing about doing this epoxy is that you're going to need a blowtorch, a to well not a blowtorch, a regular soldering torch, one that actually has a flame because the carbon that the flame releases actually draws the bubbles and it's amazing when you actually see how the bubbles just push up and just disappear. Now when you mix epoxy, I don't care how good of an epoxy person you are or how many years you've been doing epoxy, you are going to get bubbles in your epoxy and that epoxy is so thick that the uh, bubbles just float right in there and they don't come to the surface at all. And if you allow that epoxy to dry with them bubbles in there, that is just straight unprofessional and it looks nasty. So get yourself a little blowtorch and you don't, you don't actually torch it. You keep the torch about a foot, foot and a half away where the heat uh, just hits it and it's just amazing the way it comes up. The other important thing that I had a problem was with 
uh, putting this thing together, I put it in the garage and I didn't take in consideration that the floor of the garage has a slope to it. And when I poured the first coat of epoxy, uh, one side was thinner than the other. So basically I just flipped it around and uh, dropped another coat and it pretty much leveled out. But what I'm trying to say is when you throw your epoxy, put a level on here. Make sure that this sucker is completely level. And finally with the epoxy, do not put a fan like I did. Like I said, I've never done epoxy and you know, trial and error, right? And uh, I put a fan on it. And what that does, it blows these little microscopic pieces of lint. Uh, you can't really see them, maybe if I can, I mean, they're so small, you could probably just buff them out, no big deal. Um, but definitely don't put a fan on there. Uh, so let's take a look at the back of this stand now. It's uh, some felt paper, it's self-adhesive felt paper. Um, back in the day, uh, I tried to make a stand and I didn't really look into it and what I did was I bought some felt cloth and some glue and tried to do it that way and let me tell you, it was a disaster, it looked ugly, it definitely didn't have that smooth, uh, that smooth feel like the paper did. Uh, so make sure you get self-adhesive uh, felt paper. You can find that online and uh, that will just add on to a great looking stand. So the next thing I did for this stand was I designed a plaque on Illustrator. This is a 2x8 plaque. I created the artwork and I sent it in for engraving. It'll set you back about 60 to 70 bucks depending where you go. Uh, I paid about 69 I would assume that's what it cost was uh, to the cent. But it is definitely a nice touch. It looks great. And when you sit it on top of the stand, that's what you're looking at now. I haven't figured out how I'm going to get it on there as far as gluing it. If anyone has any ideas, leave them in the comment. But uh, that's where I'm headed with this stand. Uh, finally, what I want to talk about is um, you're going to need a set of six washers and two lock nuts and two lock uh, washers. Now I'm only going to talk about one side here. So these are the washers that you're going to need. The, the, two, the, the larger and the smaller one will just basically sit on top of each other. Uh, there's the lock washer and bolt right on top. This will be on top of the, uh, inside the hull bolt itself. Uh, you'll just put them down, put the bolt down in here, and then you put the bolts on and you tighten it down. But the reason why I got this third one, uh, it's very important because when you look at the um, candle holder here, this edge right here, this particular candle holder, it's pretty sharp. The edge, you know, if you tighten the bolts, you can literally pretty much compress this right through the plastic and you'll just have a big hole underneath your boat. And it, it, that'll just be a disaster. So what I did was I picked up this washer and we just sit right in here. And now the boat will sit right on top of there. Uh, you could paint this red the same color as the hull, just try to hide it and stuff like that. Or you could purchase the brass one and polish it up and I mean whatever you want to do. But that's the point of this washer right here. And then you could tighten the hell out of the boat, especially when you tighten the large one in the medium room. When you tighten this down, you'll see this particular one uh, sinking in. That's when you know your boat is completely solid and it ain't going nowhere. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave your comments below. Uh, and uh, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.